Welcome to Prayer Beyond Words, Caught by Jesus or Held in God's Hands. And the aim of this is to think of ourselves being held in the hands of God or being rescued by Jesus. And for that, we're going to be using food colouring. And what I've done is I've put a little bit of food colouring, because you need very, very little, into the tubes for you. So you've got, um, you've got a red, an orange, a yellow, blue, a green and a purple. And you'll need two syringes or pipettes and some of the colours. And then you've got a piece of model magic. Model magic. This is made something made by Crayola for little children to use, but I don't see why we shouldn't have the fun too. So what I'd like you to do first of all is to just take a piece off the end, not a big piece, like that, and put it aside. And then divide your other piece into two. Put another of those aside and then we're going to work on the first piece. And in order to colour your pieces I suggest you use the rubber gloves that I've put in your kit. I've started doing one already because uh, it does take quite a while so I've in fact decided to use red and what I did was before I started was that I flattened it completely like into as thin as I could then I took a few drops of the red in the pipette up to about here and then I stabbed the colour in like that into it and then I rolled it up like that and then I flattened it And then I kept on rolling it and flattening it. So I suggest that you choose the colour that you want to use for you. This is to represent you, the person loved by God. So the colour that you feel like today, you can obviously mix the food colourings if you want to make a colour that isn't actually in, in one of those pots. And uh, mix your colour and then come back to this video. Welcome back. I'm going to say this part twice. The first time to explain to you what you're going to be doing and the second time so that you can do it with your eyes shut. And when I've finished, I'll set it on pause so that you can go on working for as long as you wish to go on working. And then when you've finished, turn the video back on. So you've mixed a good piece of colour to be your colour. So shut, shut your eyes and without looking, shape it with your fingers to represent you now today. What shape are you today? You may be feeling full of emotion and want to express that as you work. Or you may be feeling full of peace and want to express that as you work. Just keep going till the you in your hands feels right. Don't worry about the, what the end result will look like. It's what it feels like which matters. As you work, feel it in your hands. Enjoy it. Enjoy the fact that what you're making represents someone very special. And when you've finished, continue to hold it in your hands and give thanks that you are. So now I'm going to read that through very slowly while you're working on your piece. And then I'll put pause at the end. And I suggest that you pause yours too. So, shut your eyes. And without looking, shape it with your fingers to represent you now today what shape are you today you may be feeling full of emotion and want to express that as you work or you may be feeling full of peace and want to express that as you work just keep going until the you in your hands feels right don't worry about what the end result will look like it's what it feels like which matters as you work feel it in your hands enjoy it enjoy the fact that what you're making represents someone very special held in the hands of God. And when you're finished, continue to hold it in your hands and give thanks that you are. So when you've finished, open your eyes and look at what you've made. Try to resist doing anything to change it. Turn it over and over in your hands. What is God saying to you through it? Make some kind of record of this in your journal 
and set this model aside to dry. Welcome back. Now for the second part of this meditation. We like to take your second half of your model magic and mix a colour into it. Um, so you might like to pause and then come back once you've finished mixing the colour in. This again is going to represent you held in God's hands. Welcome back. Now you've got your piece coloured with a colour to represent you. And what I want you to do now is to take it in your cupped hands and fold your hands over it and imagine that God is holding you in his hands, gently moulding you into the person he planned before all time. Remembering that he will not crush you, gently press until there's no space around any of the modelling stuff but that every bit is in contact with your hands. Hold it there, remembering and giving thanks for the fact that God does hold you in his hands. And when you're ready, gently take your hands away and lay the shape down and look on it. Look at it. The marks of your hands are upon it in exactly the same way that the marks of God's hands are on you. If you turn it over, you'll see the marks of your hands the same way that God's hands are upon you. Think about that and what it means to be fearfully and wonderfully made. And then you take both your pieces, the one that you had before and the one that you've just made, and look at them and then listen to these verses from Psalm 139. For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. Praise be. Continue to look at them and then make some kind of record in your journal and set the models aside to dry. So now for the third part of this meditation. We've got a little piece we broke off at the beginning. T t t divide that into about a one third and a two thirds. The one third is going to be representing you, so you'll need to colour that. And the two thirds is going to represent Jesus, so you'll need to colour that. So if you pause the video now and come back when you've done it. Welcome back. So now you've got a lump of a colour representing you and a colour representing God. So without looking at them, I want you to imagine that the God piece is Jesus catching hold of you as he caught hold of Peter and let him enfold you. So do this by just feeling in your hands without actually looking and let Jesus enfold you. And then keep on playing with the piece for as long as you feel right, letting the Holy Spirit bring things into your mind, thinking that this is Jesus holding you as he held Peter safely. And then when you've finished, have a look at what's between your hands and again dwell with it, with God as your loving companion. And maybe write something in your journal to remind you about what you saw, what you felt and what you understood. 